Welcome to the February Burns & Co auction walkthrough. This uh, relates to the auction this uh, Sunday, 8th of February, starting at 10am sharp in the Burns & Co auction rooms here at 57 to 59 8th Street. So just uh, as normal I'll give you a quick walkthrough, just outlining what we have here. This is in no particular order once again, it's just uh, as it lays here at the minute. We've got about 350 lots in for, sa for Sunday's auction, a smaller than uh, normal offering but uh, it might be a good thing given that the uh, forecasted temperature is around 41. And as is normal, uh, registrations and inspections Friday afternoon here at the uh, Burns & Co auction rooms from 12 noon to 5 o'clock on the Friday and then obviously we're back in here from 8 o'clock on, uh, on Sunday morning. So a good range of estate furniture again, kitchen hutches, crockery, white goods, Seem to be coming in a plenty at the minute. So there's a good, uh, a fairly new fridge freezer, dining table and chairs, lounge suite, TV cabinets, cupboards, a general range of furniture, a couple of high wardrobes, a pair of those, more white goods here on the corner. So just bear with me. All photos are available at burnsandco.com.au. Okay, plenty of photos there for you. We've got uh, general run of furniture and, and tools and bits and pieces here. There's a post hole digger, rocking horse, air compressors, normal range of smalls, camping equipment, more furniture, filing cabinets, lamps. As I said, around 350 lots here. Not as many smalls as last sale, but uh, still got plenty of shelf lots. Good range of furniture, lounge suites there for you. All the shelving's full down the back, this sale. Lots of smalls here. Have a look at that piece of furniture, isn't that gorgeous? Huge sideboard there. Comes up in three pieces. Beautiful piece in very, very good order. Table and chairs from the same vendor. Run through a few smalls here for you. Love that barometer, that's a beauty. In from the same vendor as the sideboard. Books, lamps, Roll Dalton Toby jug. Set a series of three jugs there for you. Then we've got the uh, retro sofa bed. Large table and chairs. Extension table. The salt and pepper shakers continue. Got a uh, cabinet full of those there for you. Then a roll of smalls. I'll just walk outside now. So just wait for the uh, wait for the camera to adjust here a little. We've got the Mazda truck, the Mazda T4000 flat top with the uh, gates on the back. It's in pretty good nick. In from a property down there at the Angelock which has been sold. Okay. We'll sail boat. A few more smalls. Back onto the tray top. Can't say we've had one of those in here, but uh, I'm sure whoever buys it will find it handy enough. Done around the um, done around the 326,000 uh, uh, kilometres there for you. It's a 95 model, the Mazda. There we go. This is a brand new portable septic tank to go under a portable house or a, or something of the like, a you know workman's accommodation or something there. So that'll be handy enough too. A couple of vehicle canopies. We've got the um, the push slasher there. Okay, the Nissan Navara Ute, in from the same property down there at Nangelock. Once again, pretty clean and tidy. There's the compliance on that one. It's done around the 278,000 k's. But nice and neat. Good little first car or run around for somebody or out on the farm. Then we've got the boat. Good boat weather. Here's the boat. They always seem to sell well down here. So there it is there for you. It's the 90 horsepower Mercury on the back, ready to go. Then onto the caravan, been a lot of interest in the caravan. There we go, the Freedom. Got the Sun Annex off the side. That's in very, very good order. So there's plenty of interest in that. The Jayco Freedom, very, very clean and tidy. People are selling it due to age, just don't use it anymore. But there it is there for you. Be opened up and on display on the day. Then we got a bike trailer there, back onto the boat, the Navara, 
Starting to get a few vehicles through now with our LMCT licence, which has been a big plus for us. And as I mentioned, 10 o'clock sharp on Sunday, down here at the Burns Co auction room, 57 to 59. Eight stroke. It will be our last sale now until April. We won't be having a March sale, so please disregard the uh, the auction calendars that you might have at home. We've got a huge clearing sale to do in Broken Hill uh, on the 5th of March, and uh, given time restraints on our staff, we're just not going to have time to get our multi vendor March sale organised. But it will mean that the April sale will be bigger and better, and that's set down, I think, off the memory for the 18th of April. So just keep that in mind guys, there's no March sale here. We'll be uh, putting all our resources into the uh, state sale up in Broken Hill on the 5th of March, which have full details on our website at the minute. More plant and equipment, that one. So there's the, uh, back onto the rows here, bedsides. Lovely sideboard there. Workshop. Normal amount of power tools and tools, filing cabinets. Welder down there, more furniture, high pressure cleaner, another welder, gas heater, couple of lawn mowers there. Tim's done a great job even getting this presented. Wooden ladder, even got a bird scarer. Some trucking um, trailer pits, jacks, more white goods. That's a big, that's a big mother that one, that's the big uh, Electrolux, nine and a half kilo washing machine, only fairly new, timber chest, lovely roll top, and equally as good condition as the one we had in the last sale, slightly bigger, beautiful looking piece, they hold their value the roll tops that is for sure, more smalls, some steel cabinets, tools, more outside, outdoors, got the ladders, nice big timber ladder there. Someone will hang that in their kitchen. More household furniture, white goods. Another lounge suite. I like this old, uh, this retro table and chairs. It's pretty clean and tidy for age. Electric chainsaw, more shelf lots. And then we go around the corner on even, the more, on even more shelf lots there for you. Bit of fishing gear, quite a few fishing rods and bits and pieces there. We've got a TV cabinet, bedsides, chairs, another lounge suite, nice lamp, nice standard lamp there. Lounge suites, good solid table and chairs of the pine variety. Another six rounded back chairs, more smalls. Okay, finished off with another estate lot from here at Merbeen there. A lot of smalls there, plates. Blue and white china, shelf lots through here. Not too crowded this sale, as I said about 350 lots, all to be sold here on Sunday, the 8th of February, starting at 10 a.m. We've got inspection as per normal from Friday, 12 to 5, registrations and inspections. And then obviously from 8 o'clock on the Sunday morning, we'll be here for the Burns & Co. February auction. Full details on our website at burnsandco.com.au. And just reiterate that this is our last sale now until April, as we'll, uh, as I mentioned already, we'll be putting our resources into the sale up in Broken Hill on Thursday, the 5th of March, with full details on our website for that particular sale. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you all on Sunday.